Hello. Today I'm going to talk about an even faster way to get set up with a Raylib template application in one of three major compilers, Visual Studio, MinGW, or GCC. I know this video comes very recently after the previous video that said it was the fastest way to set up Raylib, but this way is actually faster, getting it down to just two steps to, build a pr to get a project set up. Once again, this process does use pre-make, so you're going to want to download the Raylib Extras game pre-make repository. The link to that will be in the description. You can clone the repository or get the zip file, uh, whatever works for you. The important thing is, is that you get everything in this repository and place it in a folder that is the name that you want your game to be named. In our case, we're going to place this in a folder called My Game, so our game is going to be called my game. Uh, after that, you don't need to do anything else other than run the pre-make setup that is correct for your compiler. For Visual Studio, we simply need to run the pre-make Visual Studio bat file. What this will do is run pre-make, and if you do not have Raylib installed already, it will go download Raylib and set it up for you. Uh, this will create a game project that is set up using the code that is in the game folder. By default, this folder contains the Raylib template, which is a great place to start any game. So this is project is already set up with everything you need to start building your own game. You can open the project in either in Visual Studio 2022. Uh, it will have all the files ready for your game. You can simply build it using the regular compiler, it will run and show us the normal Raylib game template. This will be already set up with a resources folder, it will play sound and music, it will have graphics. This is a great place to start your game. There's nothing else to do to set up, you can just start coding. If instead you want to use the free and open source MinGW compiler, you can do that. Uh, the simplest way to get that set up is to use the W64 dev kit. Uh, this contains a uh, preset package with everything you need to build using MinGW, and it works perfectly fine with Raylib. Uh, you can go download that, run the terminal, and uh, have it there. The link to this download will be in the description. Uh, to build your make file for that, you simply run the pre-make MinGW bat. It will run. Once again, it'll download Raylib if you don't have it. And then create your make file for you. When your Muncher make file's created, you can go into the terminal to for your compiler and simply type make. This will build Raylib and your game all together at the same time. Uh, this is a great thing because it ensures that Raylib is built with your game. Then your game will be in the bin folder, underscore bin folder, debug, mygame.exe. We can run it. Once again, we get our game and everything works as expected. If instead you're on Linux and you just want to use regular GCC, uh, you could do very much the same thing. Uh, just switch into the directory and run premake directly. You can run premake5, give it the suffix gmake2. This will tell it to create a make file. It will download Raylib. If you don't have it, create a make file. We can run make and it builds your game and Raylib just like normal. That's it. Uh, this same setup using Premake, Premake will work for all three compilers. Uh, you don't have to edit any files. You don't have to change any folder names except for the folder where you're, you put the repository. This folder name will be what your game is called. From there, you can build your game as normal. You can edit your make files as normal. You can edit your Visual Studio projects as normal. Uh, or you can always add any files and simply rerun Premake and it will regenerate your projects for you. That's it. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.